Okay, so we're going to start with this cupboard today. It's something that I've been putting off for ages. And I used to store all my home decor up here and down the bottom as well, really, if I'm being honest. So as you can see, it's this is just not working out <laughs> at all. And it goes on both sides. You can't really see down there, but yeah, that's where it is. So we've got to work on all of that. This is the biggest job. Then we need to declutter this, this wheelie trolley because I'm going to use it as an art trolley and we need to fix up her bed because there are pieces over there. Last but not least, I really want to declutter is this section. Just like sort all this mess out down here because it just feels very cluttered. We have one and two cooling systems in here and she's just not needed. So we're going to start that. So we are jumping straight into it today because oh my gosh, Every time I do one of these videos, I'm surprised just how much junk I hold on to. And I'm like, why do I do this to myself every time? Anyways, you may have noticed your girl took some time off. Last week, I got sick. And then this week, the fam got sick. And it's just been rotating viruses around here. It's honestly just been a joy. So I am sorry we got nothing, nothing up. But, like, I could not. I was comatose. I was dragging my booty out of bed like every single day and that's not like me okay i have adhd so laying in bed is not my favorite thing to do you know i like to get up and bop about and do all my little things in the house so doing that last week was just a bit of a shock to me so i'm glad we're somewhat getting back into routine and i think i've finally come to terms with the fact that i can barely even get one video up a week on my scheduled day let alone two so I think we're going to drop the two videos a week until I get to a point where I can manage it easily because when I work, it's just not possible and I'm stressing myself out and it's not worth it. So I'm thinking I'll just kind of keep it simple for the moment and we'll just do my one video a week. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. I do try to get it up on Wednesday. I mean, what day is it now? Honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> Anyway, now that we are in sync again, you're on the same page as me, hopefully. Um, yeah, I am working on my daughter's room because, look, it kind of is the catch-all for things that I just don't know what to do with. Like, for example, I haven't gone through these drawers in so long. And the other day I was trying to find socks for her to wear because it's getting colder, so she needs to wear shoes and not just sandals. And so I'm digging and I'm like, I know I just bought socks for you. I know I just bought a whole packet and haven't even used it and I couldn't find it. I was like, why is it like that? You could call that the straw that broke the camel's back. Also, another thing that kind of was irking me a bit was the fact that she had a whole container here of bows and ribbons and stuff that probably don't even fit her head that I've been holding on since she was probably a newborn and was like the only time I could get a ribbon on her head and it actually stay on. So we've moved on to something a little more practical and it currently holds the hats because we have like four hats for her. And you know, with daycare, they've always got to have like a spare one and all of a sudden that one goes missing and you know, you know the rigmarole if you have kids in daycare. So I feel like we've gotten ourselves into a better situation here. We've got our socks and our hats and our pants and shorts and stuff. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully with fingers crossed, okay, mornings aren't so stressful. But there will always be the case of missing the other shoe. That is a guarantee. I didn't do the greatest job of filming this part. Apparently, I've lost my touch in my time off. <laughs> so anyway, this bottom drawer was just a amalgamation is that the word Am amalgamation i think it is anyway so it's just a collection if you will of old stuff that i don't fit just like gym tops that i wanted to keep but now that i look at them i'm like i think they've seen enough sweat in their days for me to like let go of them so i got rid of it and miraculously we now have space to actually put my daughter's sheets in the bottom i was splitting it up between like mattress protectors and actual sheets so that's a little easier for me hopefully when I do remember to change them. We've moved on to the cubby storage or the shelf storage in here and these baskets are so cute and they were from Target, Rip Target, um yeah 
so no longer available and I did drop my lens at this point which uh, broke my heart a little bit yes it really did so <laughs> I was just like oh great this is just cap this off I'm trying to do a good thing here anyway so yeah the baskets are so cute they're from Target they were nine dollars I think when I got mine and I use the bottom one for pajamas slash the wipes for the bottom one. Then the second one up is, okay, my dog is snoring. So that's a usual here. So the second one is nappies. We stock that up with nappies as I'll demonstrate in a minute. But I take them out of the plastic sleeve, put them in there just because I feel like it's easier when you're a little bit stressed out just trying to like grab a nappy and whatever. So at the moment, I'm waiting, honey. I am waiting for the nice ones to go on sale, the Huggies Ultimate. Wait, let me just go check. Okay, what a rip, darling, but I will let you know. They are on sale at Woolworths now for $35. Sorry, my dog distracts me when he does that big snore. So, like, it's just so unprofessional. Whatever. So, $35 at Woolworths, when normally I know, I know they go on sale for $31. So I don't know what's going on there. I've waited weeks for the sale. But I saw that Amazon, okay, I don't usually shop from Amazon. It's not really a big thing here in Australia. Like, we have it, but I feel like people don't use it as much as in the US. I don't know. I could be totally off on that one, but I don't particularly shop there. I think the last time I ordered something was before my daughter was born. So if that tells you anything. But I saw on there that they are selling them for $31, which is pretty dang good. And then you, if you do subscribe and save you can get them for 27 dollars, and your first order is free delivery so that's a pretty good deal um i might look into doing that we love a good bargain over here okay so anyway we've moved down to the floor she was a wild wild mess down there okay i've been putting it off mostly because i'm scared i'm scared that there's something in there and I don't know, like, we have all kinds of creepy crawlies here, and, like, when you leave a few things in the bottom of the cupboard, they like to make it their home, so I'm, like, cautious with everything, so I also knew that it was time to clean it out, because we don't need any creepy crawlies making it their home in my daughter's room, so anyway, this was mostly just gift bags and anything to do with, like, wrapping and presents and stuff, and I just, I don't know why I thought that would be a good spot because it really just gets scrunched up with the mirror door. So I've been debating on what I was actually going to use this wall caddy for because I got it from Target when they're closing down and, I mean, closing down their home decor stuff and their baby range. I got it for like $5 or something crazy like that. And it was like 30 or 40 originally. Anyway, I've decided that since I'm gonna take my since I'm gonna take the trolley car out of here, like I, I did it earlier, I'm gonna put it on the back of this and then use the compartments for storage, like stuffies and books and stuff. And then I feel like that will just be out of sight. You will be shocked to know that I did actually get it up. Not in this video, but we do it in next week's video i think we do it together anyway so you know we've got to stay organized around here because i feel like if i've just decluttered the stuff it's just gonna pile up if i don't put it in that beautiful organizing caddy thing i cannot believe it was only five dollars i literally was like hunting down the bargains anyways it was time to get rid of those felt hats that had a clutch on me since like 2016. anyways us shorty girls need to use tongs i managed to get all the stuff that's up the back here, which was mostly just baby stuff that I've been gifted, which I decided not to open, only because I knew I could donate it or give it to friends or something brand new versus me opening it just because I've been gifted it. I know that sounds conceited or selfish or whatever, like not grateful for it. It's more just that my kids don't need it and I just feel like I would rather someone else use it and have it brand new versus me like using a blanket once when at one stage I literally had like so many blankets for the kids because you know people gift them then you end up with like a ton of them so then I found another home decor bag I couldn't believe I had more these are my vintage books I pick up from a bookstore in not local to me but you know a 20 minute to half an hour drive so then I found some more decor I must have loved this piece at the time because 
to pay 15 bucks for it that's a bit wild victoria so <laughs> anyway apparently i haven't used it i'm gonna find a spot for it and then just some extra clothes down the bottom so glad i found that before you know it was left to the abyss and i never actually used it Welcome to Club Vic, apparently. Um, anyway, <laughs> I had to stop that song because I was like, it was a little bit too, a little bit too clubby for me. I'm just trying to bring some calm and some order into this and then like my heart rate's like jumping up through the roof. So anyway, I hope you're getting something done alongside me. I know this is only a short one, I know. But I'm going to start taking bullet points, no, dot points, um, of things I want to talk about. Because, you know, during the week I always think, oh, I've got so much to talk about. You know, this is like my podcast, okay? I don't do a podcast because I've got nothing else to talk about. I've exhausted my points with you guys. <laughs> I must have been having a moment the other day because I changed her sheets, took them all off so I could add the cover the mattress protector back onto it. Well, I changed the sheets and it's still there, so... Yeah, brain's not with it, apparently. Yeah, look, I really don't know what happened that day. I had set out to put it on, and then at the end of it, I realised I hadn't done it, and I thought, nah, you know what, forget it. <laughs> so then I was like, I knew I was going to do the declutter and, like, a bit of a tidy up, so I left it till then. And I think I do get it on in the end. Spoiler alert, if you're hanging on the edge of your seat there. So as you can see, my camera is playing up. I don't know why I use my phone at the moment just because I need a new lens for my camera and I'm not ready to invest another $200 in it for me to drop it and break it again. So we're using this, but like sometimes I just don't know why she does this. She gives me like the green and purple vibes. So if you know why, my camera's not broken. Just, you know. And sometimes when I go to open the camera up, it doesn't open. Like, it just gives me a blurry screen. I can do a FaceTime, like, selfie mode. Can't turn it around. So, I don't know what's going on there. Don't miss that when I was actually using my camera. Like, she showed up every single time, except for the times that I forgot to charge it. But that's another story, okay? That's on me, not on her. So, back to the bedroom, and we are cleaning out under the nappy change table and I cannot wait for the day I can get rid of that thing it is so bulky and I just can't wait for the space but anyway I cleaned it out underneath because I had a whole basket of sleeping bags in there like the kids um safety bags or whatever you want to call it and she doesn't fit most of them I think there's only one the ergo pouch that she still fits and so we're using that and oh this was embarrassing I couldn't believe how nasty it was I tend to vacuum around this spot and then don't actually pull the thing out well this is where half of my stuff is gone I used to have like five of those wooden hangers up on the shelf near the change table and I couldn't find any of them and that's why they're all down here so anyway it feels good to get that clean and vacuumed oh 
I tried without any accessory and it was just an absolute fail. So I brought out the big guns with the accessory and it made a difference. And I'm so glad I got the dust out because I feel like sometimes I'm a little sensitive and I don't want the kids to also be, you know, breathing the dust in as well. Even though I'm looking at my fan and it's so dusty. Oh, I say all this and then I'm like, oh, I halfway get through it, you know. It's like a never-ending to-do list. You find things that you want to do, that you add to your list, and then it just kind of slowly gets pushed down with the everyday mundane tasks. So at some point I'll clean that fan and the cover for it. But just today is not that day. I need to make some merch because I feel like I say that every single time. That's going to be what's on my shirt. Today is not the day. with a good brain out there or an ideas person could you let me know how to fix this light situation so it's a very cute lamp and she's not supposed to fold in half I mean you've probably worked that out by now she's not supposed to be falling over but there was some kind of missing washer or I don't know what. there needs to be something that holds it up and if you know what should go there let me know because I'm honestly stumped every time I go to Bunnings. The nails that I have for this are way too small. I'm gonna buy some of those 3M hooks. Hang it up that way, I think, so that I don't even need to put a hole in the wall. So anyway, this was all the stuff that I was gonna deal with, which I now cannot. So this is what we've got so far for decluttering. I'm losing my voice here. Not entire basket. I can donate, but. Most of this stuff is just got like got to be thrown out. Just at that point, and then over here is more donations, gift bags, and stuff. I also put some donations outside already. So, two baskets, pretty good. I was pretty proud of my overall declutter. Two baskets is seemingly a lot of stuff. Okay, you can go into declutter thinking there's not going to be a lot of stuff. It's not worth my time. Yada yada yada. Little do you know, you come away with this much stuff and I think this is why it makes it so easy for me to do it yearly. Whereas like most of the time people declutter kind of when it starts to get overbearing. And it's so easy to lose motivation quickly when it seems, if I can get my words out, like such an overwhelming task. Take it from this girl who's done every single room every single year for the last three or four years. It makes all the difference, especially for someone who struggles with ADHD and, you know, clutter is a big depressor, big unmotivator, whatever you want to call it. Okay, for some reason, my 0.5 on this phone is not working, so I can't zoom out to give you the full effect. But the final room tour is looking fantastic, okay? I thought I was going to get rid of these cooling system into the garage but I'm not going to because she's got the extra storage space down here now that we've gotten rid of trolley that was just holding so many stuffies cleared up here looking great under here it looks fantastic we've now just got towels and shoes rather than sleeping bags towels and shoes and also decluttered the dust in there so you know <laughs> this phone is really struggling okay down the bottom is that pull out storage basket which I have no idea what I'm gonna do with when we get rid of the change table so then this is the stuff that's gonna go on the wall up here when I get a chance to get the right things the accoutrements to hang it put the cover back on which was the main instigator for why I did this and then of course 
the grand reveal of the cupboard which looks look i don't know if it looks any better but to me it feels better up here is just shoes and handbags now which i don't really have that many of yeah this is gonna go when my friend has a baby shower next month so nbd on that and then equipment and just like nappies and wipes and stuff all the clothes this i did not hang up her hanging clothes are all up here now looks good i really didn't touch that down the bottom it's incredible i actually can see what's down here <laughs> and i'm not terrified that there's something lurking in the dark pillows that at some point i'll work on up here we've got a little bit more space to put the heater away which will probably come out soon anyway because it's cooling down and then i want to get rid of the ironing board and get like a tabletop ironing board instead because this just is never used anyway thank you for joining me it sounds sounds so echoey in here now that i have taken so much stuff out pretty glad that we got it if you like this there's plenty more on my channel and there'll be plenty more to come